I would like the opportunity to see it fully realised, right? And I would like um, to have a level of success that, that makes that possible. We are going to deliver on everything that we said, you know, I hope. That's certainly the plan, but the interest around the game, some people might expect things that aren't in the game, you know, that aren't in any game or you know, whatever, because the game sounds quite ambitious. Of course, there's pressure on the team to make sure that they get it right. And I hope we, I hope we can live up to it a little bit. I worry about, like, disappointing people, you know, kind of think, yeah, to like, deliver on that and do something cool and do something interesting, so. Welcome to No Man's Sky, version 1.1. The Foundation Update, version 1.2. The Pathfinder Update, Atlas Rises. But the game doesn't end there. What up, Jippers? L plays back, and what a freaking great time to be a No Man's Sky fan right now. We have, of course, received confirmation that ringed planets are definitely going to be in No Man's Sky next. We all saw this coming as soon as we saw the box art. There was no way they were going to put that on there if it wasn't going to be in the game. But it has now been revealed through the Waking Titan ARG. And there will be another very detailed Waking Titan recap video coming up on my channel very, very soon with everything that you might have missed explaining all of this kind of stuff and how we got to everything. So don't worry about that. But today, I just want to talk about the ringed planets and the possibilities that that I'm thinking about now that we've seen this and it's once again another item that we've ticked off that box art another new asset that we're going to be getting in the game another new feature that has been revealed to us through Waking Titan before anyone else it this is so freaking excited for me right now for so many reasons before we do jump into it I do just want to point out where this comes from very quickly because that is important to what I'm going to talk about next so the uplink satcom-70 website the dashboard on there if you go there now it has been completely revamped it looks freaking insanely cool there's loads of crazy stuff going on in there there's a view of a satellite in orbit there's all kinds of weird mysterious dreamer characters and voice bars and all kinds of stuff going on but the really important thing here is at the top left of that screen there are six elements to unlock the first of those element one was unlocked through the ARG and that led to this video which of course is the mercury part two or three so we know there's one more video coming like this that will also work with the hologram projector that will give us another new asset that we don't know about but what's really interesting about this for me is that that's just the first one on this list we know we've got one more of those videos coming so that's probably going to be number two on this list the second element the second decrypted file that we're going to get soon but after that guys we've still got three four five and six to unlock so there is going to be a whole load of new stuff teased before next releases through this site and that is just insanely cool to me it has got me thinking about all kinds of stuff and i'm thinking that that's going to be things from the box art and then a few other things that we're used to seeing at the end of the ARG phases. So I just want to kind of go through where I think that's going. And that will probably make you understand why I'm so excited right now, not just because of how freaking cool Ring Planets is. I already knew Ring Planets would come in. I, there was no doubt in my mind and I'm very excited about that and I want to talk about that in quite a bit of detail in this video. But more than anything, this is basically telling me we're going to get a whole load of more stuff. More than I was even expecting, actually, because there's too many things to unlock here, and that's pretty exciting. And I have got a theory for what I think these next five things are going to be. So I kind of just want to quickly run through those as my little prediction. Uh, hopefully you guys will be as excited about this as me. But I'd love to know if you think like I'm going to be right with these predictions, or if you think I might be way off. I think what we're seeing on the box art, I really do think everything in there was 100% deliberate, and I do think... Those are the things that we're going to get teased in the next couple of things that we unlock. And I think that's going to be one a week. So once a week from here on out, we're going to get the reward. We're going to get something unlocked. We're going to get a new video of an asset like this ring planet, like the freaking awesome player models or something like that. And my theory on what I think that's going to go like is something like this. I think in terms of the next things that we're going to see confirmed in this way, we're probably going to get a new ship model. Uh, so we've seen an image. We've seen a teaser of those new ships. I do think we're going to unlock something a little bit more solid on that. A new asset, maybe in the same style as the hologram 
hologram stuff or maybe as a screenshot or something i do think the new ship thing is coming i do think we're going to get a building a new asset a new building a new structure type thing possibly some sort of small colony type building i do think that that's something that was hinted at on the box art and either way i do think we're going to be getting new assets in that department no matter what happens so i definitely think that's going to be another one of these things that we get teased very freaking soon and then the last thing i think we're going to get in terms of a feature or an asset reveal before a trailer or before next drops is either going to be a gas giant or some sort of giant asteroid indicating that we're going to be able to land on asteroids or something like that based on what we see on the box art right so if we go back to look at the box art if you're anything like me you've stared at this thing for so freaking long by this point looking at every little detail i do think that giant freaking moon gas giant planet -y looking thing in the background is going to turn out to be a gas giant i know there's some discussion and debate about the little crater thing on there some people saying it's definitely a crater some people saying it looks like a, a gas storm or a wind storm that you see on a gas giant all sorts of theories but i think just the way that that's done the way that it looks so translucent uh, the way that it looks like it's made of gas I think that's something we're going to see in next either way. And of course, the asteroids kind of just around that all over the place is probably a clue to some sort of improvement in either asteroid physics or the ability to land on asteroids or something like that. There's a reason they're on there and I don't think it's just because they look cool. I think something to do with them is happening. I don't know if that will actually be landing on them or if it will just be some improved physics or maybe even just better scaling of asteroids or something like that. But yeah, I think we're getting all of that, guys, and way, way more. I really think when people see next for the first time they are going to be freaking blown away by what they see and what we get through this is just going to be the beginning of that but yeah that's what i think in terms of things we're going to get teased next i think we're going to get a ship model i think we're going to get a new building asset a new building model and i think we're going to get either a gas giant or an asteroid type tease as well but that still leaves two other things right two other sections on the satcom website with files that we need to decrypt and figure out and i think that's going to follow the same sort of pattern that we normally see in the arg so i think the second from final one the penultimate one that we unlock is going to be an elizabeth layton video you know some sort of communication going out to the citizen scientists and it's going to be the thank you message you know it's going to be we solved the problem we've fixed the satellites we've stopped where or whatever it is thank you all citizen scientists for your help in these challenging times and then elizabeth will sign out and that'll be the last we see of her for a while and then i think that final one on there number six is going to be that freaking memo the pdf an actual personal little message to all of us from hello games talking about the update that is about to drop so i think that's how it's going to go i think we've got the new assets still coming we've got the ring planets confirmed we've got the player models confirmed i think we've still got a few more features that are going to be teased and then it's going to be the thank you message and the bam here you go here's the update here's the pdf memo uh, and then shortly after that we'll get the patch notes and all of that stuff so yeah that's what i think this is all about guys let me know what you think about that but now let's talk a little bit more in depth about the freaking ring planets so here's what we've got once again in this same sort of method of delivery it's the asset the holographic type thing that we put on the little hollow devices that we've created or been sent if you were lucky enough and that projects the cool little image of the ring planet so once again that's why when we see this video there's four of them on the screen that's why they're on a black background that's why they're laid out in this way and i'm not gonna try and talk for like 10 minutes about what the rings mean or the way the rings look or anything like that we we're getting ring planets. I think they're going to look cool as freaking hell when we actually see them on planets, guys. I really think that's going to be such a mind-blowing moment that first time we freaking fly up to a planet and we have to navigate through that little rocky belt or even if we're just looking at it and it's freaking beautiful i think that's going to be a really special moment when next drops but they are just ringed planets you know there's not too much we can go into on the ring planets themselves but it does open up some really interesting possibilities right if they're adding in the ring planets my hope like my wish is going to be that they're more than just really cool looking things and don't get me wrong you guys know exactly how i play this game you guys know exactly Exactly what I love about it if it just turns out that when we get the ring planet it's similar to what we see in the mods right now that add rings to planets it's just a cool visual thing that's quite stunning to look at then I'm not gonna be upset of course but my hope with this is that it's gonna be a little bit more than that I think if they're doing this kind of stuff right if they're doing this kind of overhaul in space and as well as on planets then I think we're gonna get some really cool stuff and I'm hoping that we might be getting planetary physics and now that's something that I've never really been too caught up on everybody knows it was a big thing that was talked about people wanted it people still want it 
for me, I don't think it's that big a deal, but when I do start thinking about the possibilities of how cool it might look to see a planet rotating, to see them orbiting a sun, to see moons actually moving around a planet, to see the rings and the asteroid belt and all of that kind of stuff just like slowly moving around and shifting and oh, yeah, like... <laughs> Guys, come on, like the thought of that is freaking incredible. I don't know if it's gonna go that far or if it is just gonna be a look at this freaking cool ring around a planet, but it does make me think if they're teasing something like that and they've put ring planets on the box art, it's probably not gonna be as simple as just a static image around a planet. So yeah, maybe we're gonna get some really cool stuff. And maybe it hints at space overall having a lot more work done on it. And that is something that is really freaking exciting to me. You guys know I love exploring planets. In this game, like beautiful magical worlds, running through the grass, finding gigantic trees, cool looking rocks, all of the beautiful and amazing creatures. Like that for me is the best feeling in video games ever, like without a doubt. But if they're gonna like do a load more stuff in space as well, then it's just gonna make me so happy because it's just going to be another really cool thing for me to explore and right now space looks awesome to me i know some people complain they would like a, a dull black space but that's not the kind of fantasy sci-fi setting that we've got in this game and it's not what i think most people love about it so the beautiful colors in space and all of that stuff right now to me is perfect doing some more cool stuff up there like just the thought of what that could mean has me very freaking excited guys <laughs> so yeah i don't know like what do you guys think could be coming like we know the ring planets are coming right there, there's no question about that that's kind of the only thing right now that's confirmed but do we think it's going to be a little bit more than that if they're going to such big lengths if they're putting ring planets on the cover if they're showing this giant gas giant on the box art and all of that kind of stuff it definitely feels like space overall is going to have a lot more work put into it and it's not just going to be planets and stuff like that i think we're going to see some really cool stuff maybe even as far as things like when you see the planet from outside and you land it is exactly how it looks from outer space it's like a real portrayal of it and it's not that kind of surprise although i do kind of like the surprise of like oh Oh, this planet looks hideous and then when you go through the atmosphere it turns out to be a freaking paradise but yeah i mean <laughs> whatever they're gonna do is gonna be cool right but just this this one little tiny thing like every little tiny thing i see is just making me so excited because it's when you add them all up right we're getting the player models we're getting multiplayer there's a load of other cool stuff teased on the box out there you know it looks really freaking cool we could be getting loads of other stuff if the box art is really like everything in there even to the smallest detail has been placed there on purpose and what we're seeing in all of these unlocks it, it looks like we're just going through the list right we're ticking them off you know we've got player models tick we've got ring planets tick next we might get the gas giant tick then it might be oh that thing in the background guess what it was a building tick it looks like that's the way this is going so far and oh gosh <laughs> like yeah i don't know i don't really know what to say about it other than this is a freaking incredible time to be a no man sky fan we have we're just getting started we're gonna whatever we get before a trailer and before the update is only going to be a tiny little taste of what we actually see when we get our hands on next right so just all of this cool stuff all of it adding up everything that we're seeing the box art these new assets the features teases all of that kind of stuff is making me a very happy little jipper right now guys <laughs> and i'm hoping everyone else is excited as i am right now there is some other kind of weird stuff going on with this ringed planet tease though and i kind of want to touch on that a little bit right the weird like flashing almost looks like a shield around the planet right to me that's kind of what that looks like it looks like some kind of you know like sci-fi plasma shield type deal around the planet like i don't know if anyone else is getting that vibe the way that like flickers and kind of goes zoom across there it certainly looks like that planet we're looking at has got some sort of force field around it right and that could be really interesting it could be nothing i don't know like i that just could be something they do that helps to make it look cool when it projects onto the little hologram i don't really know for sure but it certainly stands out quite boldly right it's not subtle there's a huge freaking shield looking blue glow around the planet that flickers and flashes there and i mean honestly if i just looked at that without any context and was asked what do you think that shows i'd be like well it shows a ring planet that's got some kind of force field around it and that's really interesting we know that in the interview sean talked about things like cross planet colonization and stuff like that maybe i'm just running away with it you're getting far too excited and of course what i'm talking about now is speculation <laughs> the only thing that is confirmed from my perspective from this is that we are getting ring planets we 
seen it. We've seen it on the box art. They've given it to us now through Waking Titan. The rings are going to be on some planets for sure. And anything beyond that is probably me just kind of theorizing. But it certainly looks that way to me, guys. I don't know. Do you think that looks like a shield around a planet? And if you do, what does that tell us, right? We know there's going to be PvP and hostile type situation that can happen with the new multiplayer that's added. Do we think it's going to be a case of these cross-planet colonies that Sean talked about in the interview could actually be like we establish a base or a home world with a group of people and we can put up defenses to protect the planet even like beam up a shield around it like that and then we're gonna get the new freaking epic freighter classes that we've seen tease like coming in with their plasma beams trying to like death star their way through the shields and stuff i don't know maybe that maybe that's like going way too far into it and it probably is but something is going on with that weird beam thing around the planet i don't know what do you think about that is there anything else on here that i've missed is there anything else weird that you're noticing about this the only thing really that I would say is the clouds. The clouds on this freaking magnificent sapphire planet that we're looking at there look incredibly detailed, incredibly smooth, incredibly well done, right? They just look freaking awesome. And I know it's easy to kind of not think about that when you first see it because you do what I did and that was just, ah, ring players are coming. <laughs> but when you kind of sit and look at it a bit more, which is what I obviously try to do with these videos when I talk about this stuff, it looks very clear, very crisp and very clean, right? And we know like improved cloud rendering tech is something they've talked about so many times. We know that's something they want to do. So I think that could be another subtle little hint in this little tiny picture here. It's not just the ring planets. There could be something going on with this force field type deal, which could have all kinds of implications for this colony play, the multiplayer, the PvP, the hostile element, base defenses maybe, or fortification, who freaking knows, but there's a lot of stuff that could be wrapped up in this, right, and some of it might be nothing, some of it could be something, like, it's probably going to end up being somewhere in between all of that, but that's kind of what I'm seeing when I look at it, the ring is cool, there's definitely some sort of shield there in my opinion, and the clouds just look way beyond anything else that I see at the minute in the game when I fly to a planet, so I'll be honest, like, the more I talk about this, the more I think about it, it's kind of making me think that space is going to be getting completely overhauled, and if that's happening, you can be damn sure the planets are getting completely overhauled as well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm going too far, maybe the excitement has been built up in me for so long right now with all of this next stuff that my tiny little brain has just cracked and I've gone crazy. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think about all of this? Hopefully you enjoyed this video, taking a look at that. Like I say, how we found all this stuff, how Waking Titan has progressed and all the other crazy stuff that's going on right now will all be covered in my Waking Titan update video, but for now I just wanted to kind of fanboy out a little bit and get really excited about the Ring Planets because... <laughs> Well, I think it's telling us quite a bit. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Take care of yourselves and peace. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to my current Patreon supporters, Shiroka Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, UK Gamer 84, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Autumn Long, Lukash, Husband Vader, Amras, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Joanne's Anderson, Heath, and the Portrait Dude. You guys are the best. Mm -hmm.